Hi, in this video, I'm going to answer these two questions. The first one says, do you need to report annual uh, interest income on a zero coupon bond to IRS? The second question says, well, if you do, how much is the annual interest income that you have to report to IRS each year? Okay, let's see this example of the zero coupon bond. So the first value is $10,000, the price is $8,500, term is 3 year, year to maturity is 5.567%. So uh, the zero coupon bonds, if the bonds do, does not pay uh, the coupon uh, you know, during the, uh, the term, right? So this one basically says there's no coupon payment. However, you buy these bonds at a discount. So uh, you buy today is 8500 In the future, which is end of the three years, you will receive $10,000 back. So this give you a rate is year to maturity is 5.67%. You have to think. Within these three years, you do not receive any interest income. However, IIS want you pay interest, uh, pay tax on the interest, on your interest income, not when you receive it uh, in the end of the three year. Uh, IIS want you report interest income on this bonds every year, right? So how you do it? IS coming up coming up a term called original issue discount OID. OID is a form of the interest. You generally include OID in your income as it accrues over the terms of the debt instrument, whether or not you receive any payment from the issuer. So you have to basically the zero coupon bond, your OID, annual OID is your uh, interest income. You have to pay tax on this interest income. So how do you calculate this OID? That's why we use it called constant yield method. So how do you figure out the OID, original issue discount on the debt instrument issued after 1984 using the constant yield method? So let's see how you calculate this. The first year, your OID is equal to your yield to maturity. Your yield to maturity times the price. Yield to maturity times the price will give you first year the EOID. Then how can you figure out the second year? Well, second year is equal to the year to maturity. Your year to maturity times the uh, first year, the basis of the first year. How can you get the basis, the first basis? The, the basis of the first year. The basis of the first year is equal to your price, originally priced, times the, uh, no, add, add your first year, uh, first year OID. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. Uh, your first year, uh, the basis of the bonds, is equal to your uh, original price at the first year OID. You will get the, the basis of the end of the first year. So once you get the uh, basis of the end of the first year, then you use the year to maturity times the basis of the first year will give you second year's will give you second year the OID. Second year OID is your interest income. It's your interest income. You will pay tax on it. So this, well, so similarly for the third year, uh, it's equal to your year to maturity times second year, the uh, second year, the, the basis of the bonds. Second year, a uh, basis of the bonds is equal to the 
uh, the your uh, this OID second year OID uh, add the add uh, to the first year basis. Your first year uh, second year OID add this first, then you get the second year the basis. So after you have a second year basis, then you get three the third three years third years OID. So if you add the three years OID together, give you fifteen hundred. Then what is fifteen hundred? Fifteen hundred is the difference of the one thousand and the original price you paid and the third uh, face value. So at the end of the uh, third year, your basis become ten thousand, right? Because your basis is like your ten thousand, like you bought this one at a ten thousand. Now you sell this one at a ten thousand. So you don't have any difference of the price. You don't have any gain profit. So that's how that works. Basically, you pay the price. You pay the tax on the price difference in the form of the annual interest income. Uh, which is the annual OID. So that's how you report the annual interest income on a zero coupon bonds to IRS.